Live the word you speak. Live the love you seek. Live the word you speak. Live the love you seek. Live the word you speak. Live the love you seek. Live the word you speak. Live the love you seek. Live the word you speak. Live the love you seek. Live the word you speak. Live the love you seek. Live the word you speak. Let's talk about fear. To the end of fear. Uh -huh. No fear. Don't commute me. No, no. No fear. I don't feel no fear. No, 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 no. no. Don't commute No fear. No, no. I don't feel you. I got, got no fear. Fear. No fear. Fear. Not me, no baby. Got none. One none. Need none. Ain't Fear is a powerful weapon. When used in combination with hopelessness, it can virtually paralyze us from combating its devastating effects. Fear is utilized in many avenues, religion being one such. I believe in Jesus Christ and consider him to be the Son of God, if for no other reason than we all are. However, I have always felt that hell is a creation of man, used to control us with fear. I have never understood the belief that a loving God could damn us to an eternity in hell for a lifetime that is a mere drop in the ocean of lifetimes we have lived. Even if one rejects reincarnation, this seems abhorrently cruel. Judgment direct from my teachings is a core truth. And if this act is not judgment in its ultimate form, I do not know what is. Fear prevents us from doing what we know is right. And that is why it is such a powerful tool for the handlers. As mentioned, it combines effectively with hopelessness. Hopelessness puts us in a state of inertia, unaware that we can react to it when fear is removed from the mix. We have been programmed to fear our differences as opposed to embracing them. There is strength in connection and chaos in division and control is more easily achieved in a state of chaos. As eternal beings, there is nothing to fear. And that was one of the biggest realizations downloaded from my Love Zap teaching. Those who keep us in shackles are counting on fear keeping us there. It has worked to date, but the key to freedom is contained within the core truths, as taught by the Sasquatch people and others. And when we adopt them, 
we cannot help but change. It can be no other way because lower vibrational restraints cannot exist in love. Fear not, Universal Traveler. Adopt love without judgment, division, or fear. Step into the light, claim your sovereignty, and bear witness to the inevitable change that we are on the precipice of imagining into realization. It's who we are, and it's time we take it back, collectively. You know, one of the greatest gifts ever bestowed upon me happened just recently, a few years back. And I would consider it to be more of a gift or equally as much of a gift as a lesson. And um, You know, these last few years have been hard on everybody, but there seems to be a great darkness being lifted off the land, as if we are waking up to the truth, as if the lies, the deception, the manipulation is coming to light. And you know, it is always darkest before the light, so. With that in mind, these kind of things, these awakenings, these things coming to light, generally happen after periods of great darkness. And so in that way, we can be blessed that it happened. Um, even though many loved ones were lost, even though there was a lot of suffering. For the collective, it may actually have been a good thing or actually was a good thing. But, you know, I am human, like anybody else. And so, a while back, I was very, very depressed. I was in a, some fear, even though I knew there was nothing to fear. I was in a little bit of fear because of the relationship between my wife and I and the fact that the uh, rules and the regulations of the time were preventing us from being together. And so if it hadn't have been for that, I would have had no fear whatsoever because I have total confidence. I have a knowing that the light will come to the forefront and we will be okay in the end. But I was concerned about my relationship with my wife and if she was going to be able to come to Canada, seeing as she is a resident of the United States and I was sponsoring her at the time. So there was some trepidation around that. And so one night I decided to go to the woods it must have been around midnight. It was really, really late. It was dark. And I parked my truck outside the gate and walked in. And I just knew that I, I wasn't right. I knew I had all the equipment, all the tools, all the teachings so that I could be right, but it was still hard. And like I said, I was in some fear over the situation with my wife and I. So when I walked, and I simply asked the Sasquatch people from my heart, I said, guys, I'm not right. Um, I'm not where I wanna be. I'm not in the space, the vibration I wanna be in. Can you please help me? Can you lift this fear over the situation? 
And I swear that this is not a word of a lie, not an exaggeration in any sense. I literally felt this fear, this darkness lift off me. It felt like a light switch had been turned on. It felt like freedom. And I knew I would never go back to fear, no matter what the situation ever again. And I simply asked my people to help, and they did. And it was instantaneous. And this has happened many, many times um, for different reasons. This particular one is one of the most dramatic, one of the ones I treasure most. And trust me, when you're not in fear, it is the most freeing thing you can imagine. Freedom to do what you want, freedom to walk the path you want, freedom to not be in doubt about who you are, about where you're going. It enables you to do your work. And so this was a great, great gift for me to ask my people, the clan of Ari, to help me and for them to lift this darkness from me instantaneously. And like I said, I literally felt it instantaneously. And I guess some people would call it a miracle. Personally, I would just call it love. Fear not, Universal Traveler, for soon we shall all be lifted out of this deep, dark hole of despair. Lifted out of the lies and the deception of judgment, the lie of division, the lie of separation, to emerge into a bright light free from fear and engulfed with the pure, loving light of love, our true universal nature. When we're not in fear, everything changes. We have the freedom to be who we are. We have the freedom to stand up for who we are. We have the courage to live without fear. And that is our true universal self. And that is where we're headed. Fear will soon become a thing of the past. And we shall walk in a bright new world that is heart-based, heartfelt, experienced from the heart and not experienced from the lies that we have been taught for eons. Free from the lies that have held us in shackles. Free from fear. Free to love. One of the great teachings that I received from the Sasquatch people was a beautiful analogy of the universe represented as a spider's web. And every thought and action that we take is felt throughout the entire universe. And every thought and action that we take from one individual strand vibrates and is felt within the whole and within every strand. So we are creators. We create our reality with our thoughts and our actions. And these thoughts and actions are felt on an individual basis. And as in the analogy of the spider's web of connection between us all, is also felt on the bigger universal basis. 
and so as a creator, I feel with all my heart that it is important for us to create a future that we want, a future free from fear. Fear has been holding us back for eons, and I choose to create a future free from fear. For myself, as an individual, and for the collective. And we're powerful. Never think that we are unpowerful or that we are hopeless. Hopelessness is an illusion. Hopelessness is an illusion designed to keep us from reaching our potential, from growing as a race, from freeing ourselves from fear. So we are powerful, never forget that. And when we have our thoughts and we have our actions and we create our future as individuals and as a collective one, create it without fear and move forward without fear. And of course, do it all under the strong foundation of love because love is the creator.